I'm back. Um, yeah. So I know Katahena was more than what a year ago. Yes. Wow. Time flies. Time really, really flies. Um, and I figure it was time for part two, right? Finally, time for part two. In case you missed um Katahena part one. Here's what happened in container part one. Let's just say it wasn't a small thing. Right now, am I really living in this moment right now? Yes, so we got invited down there for um, amazing, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wedding to take part in a beautiful, beautiful culture. It was so dope. Well, to experience a beautiful culture, to experience a beautiful country. And indeed, I was so happy, so ecstatic, so elated just to be there it was amazing here i am finally putting out part two what took me so long i don't know i really don't without further ado here is katahena part two It was this big beautiful pirate ship. I couldn't really get a shot of the ship because I was on the ship, if that makes sense. <laughs> Because everyone came from every continent to be here tonight, and it's kind of it's kind of, it's really humbling to have so many good friends and inherit so many good friends. So we really appreciate everyone's journey here. They're long, and we really appreciate it. And after that, we went back. Some of us, some of us went out afterwards. I, I might have gone out. Just to check out the night scene. Might. Okay, I, I, we went out. But the next day now, the next day, we got up early, recovered from the night before. We were told that we had to meet at a certain location because we were going to jump on a bus, which was going to take us to boat number two. We 
took the big boat to a small boat to the island. Half the people on the ship decided to abandon ship. They literally jumped off the boat and swam to the island. Me and my little self wasn't going to do that. I like to love you. Um, so we are about to try, we don't even know what this is, but, um, I'm traveling, so I have to try new things, right? So, Christina is gonna try it first, and if she doesn't live, I'm not gonna try it. You ready? Yeah, what is it then? I have no idea. Try it. It looks like it. It looks like fish. Yeah, but it smells like, it smells like this corn in there. How is it? We got to the island, we, you know, got settled in a little bit along the shores, sat down, and I fed my face because I'm a foodie. Whenever I travel, I love to eat. Whenever I eat, I feel good. After I fed my face, I decided to explore and see what the whole, you know, island and the party was about, and it was great. There was a lot of food, there was a lot of dancing, a lot of dancing. What was so cool is that every now and again they would break out in like this group dancing, like a flash mob style. And it was just so cool because, you know, they would all take their cues from like one person. It didn't matter who it was. It was just like, up, oh, yep, that's who we're taking our cue from and we're gonna dance. It was fun. It was fun. Unfortunately, we couldn't stay because, you know... The sun was setting and we had to go back and we had to get ready for the third and final day of the festa, the big day. Not quite yet. See, the first two days that we had there was cool, it was great, it was mild. I don't know if people didn't really know what was going to go happen. I don't know if they didn't know that a wedding was going to happen. But um, I wasn't really prepared to see what was going to happen outside of the church. If you, It was like this, okay? There was a lot of people. A lot of people. When I got outside, there were a lot of people. 
a lot of people. There were a lot of people just standing outside. There were people outside crying. There were people outside cheering. There was a lot of people outside. I was like, oh, oh, okay. They, 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 they didn't quite tell us that this was going to happen. Once the festa started, once the ceremony started, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was half English, half Spanish, which was pretty awesome. I also learned that my Spanish is very... It needs a lot of work. My Spanish needs a lot of work. <laughs> Now, I've never seen that before. I've been to a lot of weddings, but I've never seen the woman serenading the man, which I thought was pretty awesome. I thought it was pretty cool, and, like, it stole my heart. Beautiful. After the ceremony, that was, that was it. We left the church, went home, and had Colombian coffee, and read books. <laughs> Kidding. It ain't no 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 man it finished with a bang like literally that last night it was amazing <laughs> I, I don't know if this is great. Um, I like to love you. Death 
definitely the food was a very big favorite for me. Like all the eating that I did was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. I ate and I ate and I ate. I think every single day that I was there, I had something that I've never had before. It's a beautiful part of traveling. It's a beautiful part of experiencing people of different backgrounds, people of different cultures. You get to experience food and things that you would never experience again. Even if it's just to say you did something, book a ticket, get on a plane, and travel. Love you guys. I'd like to love you night and day, if I may, may, may.